that really feel like the Slaughterhouse How saga was unfinished. Mm -hmm. You know, I know there's a Glass I mean, House listen, album me and that Joe was Button aren't, pretty much you know, completed but never released. Not friends like right? that. Where we had I left it about two years ago fucking high school was, was everybody came so, in. I get that part. And but when I'm out here, some of, some of the guys in the group picked certain beats. Some of the guys didn't feel those beats. So they used my platform. The other beats, and there was like there was definitely enough songs your to put an album out. Me. But for and the I'm most the part, it wasn't a complete picture because everybody moving. wasn't on you the same page. So what you're doing? So you got a voice in hip hop. So you actually could be affecting this ship a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Because you don't owe me nothing. But I've never got in a fucking interview and been like. Joe Button shit is fucking trash. Yeah, that last album he put out is fucking trash. So that's, there's a fine line between saying, you know what, this guy's really been cool to me. He's helped me out and tried to help out on many occasions. So I'm not gonna go in on Untouchable like that. I'm gonna say it ain't for me, you know that Let's call Sway and ask him why I can't get on Shade 4 or 5. That was in um, response, so I seen him on the street once, and I didn't know he couldn't come up to Shade at that time, mm -hmm. uh, 4 or 5. And I said, man, come on up, man. And then I had to see him again and say, hey, man, I don't know what the shit is, yeah. but until that gets cleared up, there's no way I can have you on there. Yeah. What's the shit with that? What happened? Well, the shit is, just for the record, the, the thing that was going on that he was saying about my daughter, I didn't even know about that until like literally like a year and a half later. First he said, first, first when he said, I, I'm, a, I'm the greatest rapper alive since my favorite rapper banned me from Shea 45 or whatever he said, right? Like I'm trying to hinder his career. So my favorite rapper banned me from Shea 45 or whatever he said, right? Like I'm trying to hinder his career. So I give a fuck about your career. You think I actually fucking think about you? You know how many fucking Rappers that are, are better than you, you're not even in the fucking conversation. I don't care if you fucking blow or if you don't blow. It doesn't matter to me. But then when you get on Tech Nine's album and you start sending shots and people start hitting me up, yo, Machine Gun dissed you, he just dissed you, he dissed you. I'm like, I listen to it, I'm like, did he really diss me though? Okay. Now, now I'm in this fucking weird thing because I'm like, I gotta answer this motherfucker. And every time I do that, it makes that person as, as irrelevant as people say I am, am in hip hop, yeah. I make them bigger by getting into this thing where I'm like, I wanna destroy him, but I also don't wanna make him bigger. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because now you're a fucking enemy. So, I'll leave it at that. I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do at this point right now because yeah. I'm still kind of waiting to see what. You haven't heard his rap devil response? No, I heard it. What do you think of it? It's, it's not bad for him. Mm -hmm. He has some good lines in it. Did y'all really call Interscope?